you making my packing video. Um, me and Will are staying in a fancy hotel for a couple of days because we deserve it after all the buffing it in the jungle and it's a good area to film the video. So here it goes. I'm going to start with my big bag um, that I'm carrying on my back which is a very old 35 litre bag so it's not massive and I've had it since I was 18 my first ever traveling trip backpack around Spain with friends from college when we finished college I went to Morocco so it's very dear to my heart and it's by far not the best bag on the market. <laughs> I don't even know if you can buy it anymore. But it's a good size, and I like the fact that it has a front top pocket here and the side pockets. Um, it's good for organizing. So I'm just gonna do quickly show you what's inside the bag. And don't worry, I will do a list at the bottom of the video too, because I'm not gonna show you every single thing. Otherwise, we'd be here for hours. <laughs> um, so I have three main packing cubes. This is one of them. They're the basic cubes that I got in um, one of those camping shops in the UK, quite a famous one, named after a park. Not coming to me, but it will come to me and I'll put it at the bottom. There's this good shop. Um, yeah, so I'll, I'll remember at the end. And I got these in a pack of three and they're really good because they're waterproof and very light. So in this type of one I have all the kind of wintery clothes. So anyone that's watching this video might be watching it if they're trying to decide what to pack on a trip around South America and Central America. It's not easy to pack light because you've got to go through all the different um, climates from tropical heat to springtime heat to autumn to really really cold in high mountain altitude. So you have to have a lot of stuff with you. So it's definitely harder than packing for say Asia or Africa or somewhere like that. So in this bag I keep kind of wintry things. So I've got like thermal tights, <coughs> uh, thermal socks, more thick socks, these two thermal vests from Marks and Spencers, which are really good, like £10 each and really, really warm. So like being hugged, they're very thin, good for sleeping and wearing on the jumpers, sports bra, uh, more sport, kind of thick sporty leggings and super thick socks that I didn't have until I was in Peru recently and these are just warm and cuddly and nice for the house more than anything <laughs> and they've been so yeah I want to say I've been also been traveling already for six months so this is a tried and tested packing um, technique for me uh, so I'm not at the beginning or I haven't not left yet I know a lot of videos of people packing before they've even gone so there's no real knowledge of how it works on the road and you're always going to buy things like those socks I bought and I managed to squeeze them in <laughs> so this is kind of the warm stuff which I haven't opened for a while because we've been in, in the Caribbean but it's also I don't know if I'm going to get back in the jungle or, I mean the forest or the mountains and I'm probably going to need something again definitely worth having and then I have a smaller bag. This is not a technical packing cube, but I've had this bag for a long time. Um, and here, I'm not going to get everything out, but I've got kind of my socks, underwear, bras, um, swimming costumes, bikinis, all wrapped small. So as you can see, everything I do, I put it really small in elastic bands. Same, same for in here, because <coughs> sorry. Um, it's much easier to pack it together uh, when it's been wrapped small so it doesn't open up again. So this is one of my big techniques for packing seemingly a lot of stuff in seemingly a small space. <laughs> so this is my main packing cube. It's the biggest one and to be honest it probably is too big for my backpack. Um, if I travel again on a long trip like this I'd make I maybe a slightly narrower. But it still works, so I'm still using it. And this has got all my main clothes in, um, which I will I will put a list below of everything I'm traveling with. It's leggings, tops, dresses, um, <coughs> yeah, mostly summer dresses, uh, stuff to sleep in. This was Jacob, but he's dead now. He died recently. Um, this was my <laughs> my duck soft toy. 
made with those little balls inside um, and he was like a pillow and a comforter and I've had him for nearly 10 years and I decided that he needed a wash, well my boyfriend decided he needed a wash and he came back from the wash like this but he can be fixed so that's happy I'm gonna try and run a city now so I'm gonna try and find a shop that sells these balls. So that's everything that's in there so that all goes together nicely and it makes it easier. This is the first time I've used packing tubes actually and it is um, a lot easier to get stuff out of your bag. Okay, so they are the three main packing tubes. Um, also in my bag, in this big bag, I have this journal. So I have in plastic anything I have with me um, for journaling or artwork, uh, which is paper, I always tend to put it in plastic like this. Um, if you're going in tropical heat, you, everything gets damp, even your money and your wallet, it gets all limp and damp. <laughs> um, this is my um, big uh, colour bible or colour book that I'm writing at the moment. This is my prototype which I have with me, so it goes in the bottom of my backpack. Along with these two bags that I recently bought as presents, or perhaps one for me and perhaps one for a present. I don't know. We will see. But they're cute. <laughs> you know, they bought in Peru. Yeah, it has some cool textiles there. Okay, so then I also have a um, travel towel. Very important. And this is the travel hair towel. Maybe not so important for some people, but I have curly hair and it's long. And these are just not good for hair. So this is one of these wrap around towel things. But it folds up pretty small, so it goes in. Uh, this is what I keep feminine products in, tampons, etc. Um, then I have these two bags here, which go on the side of my backpack. This one's the first aid kit, um, which we've been adding to using on the trip. Um, the only thing I have in there that we haven't used is the rescue remedy pastels. Uh, otherwise, everything's been pretty useful. Uh, you know, throughout the trip. And this is the electronics bag. So good to, I think to have all these wires and annoying things together. Um, <clears throat> and also have a washing line, which I've had for a very long time, travel washing line, but it's very useful if you want to be hand washing somewhere. And you can hang it up in your hotel. And then there's this like duct tape and other bits and bobs in there that are kind of useful. <coughs> <coughs> And then I also have kind of cosmetic things like sunblock and um, insect repellent, body cream. These we haven't used yet, but multivitamins. Still have them. You never know, we might get really old and they could come useful. <laughs> we originally bought them because we were going to hike Patagonia, which we're not doing now, but maybe I'll keep them for the time that we do it. This is also very important to have when you're travelling, something for an emergency. I used to have emergency Mars bars, but now I have cow milk allergy, which sucks, so I can't really eat Mars bars. Um, so instead, I have a little bag of emergency amaretto. So if anything happens and it's stuck on the side of the road or in a mountain or somewhere, it does it. Look at this, it's all good. Let's see, how is it doing? I haven't actually even looked at the left. Still smells good, Marty Tiny. <laughs> So that's my uh, emergency something, which I always recommend having in your bag, whether it's a mouse bar or a beer or a drink or something. <laughs> and then this is also very useful and oh, I've got one of those shops that you'll find on the high street that has things that you really want but you don't need. You know those kind of shops, they have like really cool fairy lights, really cool pillows and plates with dogs with crowns on. You'll find these kind of sets in that and they're really good. So it's like a sewing kit. I think I got this one in Camden, London. Um, it just has everything you need and more to be able to fix your clothes, which is great when you're on the road. And I've used that a few times. Um, mostly just have badges on my bag, but I've also lent it to other people. So yeah, it comes in useful. And then I have this little this little plastic box that I keep my jewelry in. That keeps it all nice and together and also protected from humidity. And then in this one is all my kind of cosmetics and <coughs> hairbrush and everything folds down inside here, toothbrush, deodorant, um, razors, hair cream, all that kind of stuff goes in here. 
And this maybe is a bit bulky for some people, but it fits on the top of my bag. So right now it's good. So probably not the most minimalist, <laughs> but I have like solid shampoo and things like that and soap that I just use as a uh, shower gel, but I don't shower gel. So that's it for the cosmetic stuff. Then I have two pairs of sandals that go in my backpack normally, not always, but if I'm traveling then I wear my big hiking boots. So I have like my basic flip flops, Ariana's and more comfortable walking sandals because flip flops aren't great for walking around all day in, but those ones are better. Then I have a sleeping bag liner and a proper sleeping bag too, which sits together with my boyfriend so we can make a big warm, snuggly sleeping bag, which is great. And then I have a warm jumper. I only brought one with me, it's a cashmere, and it spells I rolled it up as well. And I also have this jumper, which I wasn't planning to have, but this is really cute baby llama wool from Peru and there's some things you see along the way that you have to get because you're not going to get at home. So yeah, when I first packed, I maybe didn't take into account things I might want to buy. So that's also something to think about when you're packing. Um, but you can squeeze it in. I just squeeze this right in the top and you get really small. <laughs> You'll see in a minute. And I also have this bag that I bought while traveling here too, um, which is from Colombia and um, also a really nice souvenir. So that kind of gets squashed in the top. And this is my waterproof jacket. Um, it's windproof and waterproof. It's yeah, pretty warm. Um, and I've used it all on the trip so far, um, right up to 5,000 meters, and it's been good. So if it's uh, cold enough, I'll wear it while traveling. If not, if it's warm like it is now, then I kind of stuff it on top. I'll show you how I do that. I'm already in the bag. It's just on the bag, which works well when you're going on buses. You know, I'm playing so like it so much, but you can just take it off. So yeah, everything. And now I'm going to pack it and you're going to see how everything goes in. And then I'll move on to my, my front bag. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so yeah, the bottom goes my big... <sighs> okay, I also always have plastic bags with me. A really useful thing to have for laundry or things are getting wet. So I kind of squeeze that down and then this will go in the bottom. So I sort of pack it on the things that I don't use all the time in the bottom. Just squeeze that one in. And then the cubes go in the back. Just kind of squeezing it. It's all about squeezing it in as well, that's very important. <laughs> Squeeze this one. And then these ones go on the side, like this, here. One goes here. And I'm just going to slide these down the side next to it. Sliding in. And then all this just on the top here. Slide it in that. That's good. And then I'll fit these ones. Okay. Now, on top, we put the kind of wax underneath and then this just goes straight on top. And these actually go in the bottom, but I realized I did this differently. So today they're going to go in the top. <laughs> and then the goes in. So I'm just going to like squeeze these last bits in the top. Yeah. 
So a lot of squeezing in, as you can see, um, especially since I bought more things. Maybe next time I need a bigger bag. Who knows? <laughs> so I'm just going to squeeze that around the top there. And then this goes on the top. Just going to push down. This goes on the top also. I'm not wearing it. So if I'm not wearing it, I just want to put it like that. And then do this round. And this I will attach to the outside front through these straps. That's the other strap. Yeah. I'll loosen that up. And then I'm just going to pull it. Pull it, squeeze, push, and Down to it. So that's nice and compact and tight. So this is my main bag then all put together. Um, as you can see, it's quite small but it has a lot of stuff in it. Uh, I think the weight is. Um, what's the weight? Definitely under 20. I think it's 18 kilograms. So it's not massively heavy either. And everything I have in here is stuff I'm not really afraid to lose. Like if I lose it, obviously it would suck. But having all the stuff in my main bag that can be put underneath the coach that you don't need to worry too much about if it gets stolen is a really good idea when I'm traveling. Um, in this part of the world, because you take a lot of coaches and they won't let like, you take big bags on top. So that's my main bag. And now I'm gonna show you What's in my front bag? No, a more exciting bag in my view. <laughs> so this is the bag that I carry on my front. Um, this is the bag that I keep everything that's really important to me, like passports, money, cards, journals. Yeah, the things that are really important that you don't want to lose. So I always keep this with me from buses or planes or anywhere. It doesn't get checked in. And uh, this is a really great bag from Low Alpine. Um, I will link below the exact name of it. Um, I also, ah, the shock. It was called Cotswolds. Cotswolds? Uh, Cotswolds. See? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I've been having them so long time with saying words. Um, <laughs> that was the shop I got this from. And it's totally waterproof. And what's really great design about it is, uh, one, I love that it's got these two side pockets. So you can put two bottles of water or one if you're hiking for the day. Um, so it's a little front bit which I normally just keep um, some tissues in. And it's got a top section which is kind of deep. Um, and I keep things that I want to get to easily. And then what's really great, especially because I like to pack my bags pretty uh, tight, is that it opens like this all the way open. So it means if you're somewhere and you need something that's in the bottom, you can get to it without taking everything out which I really like. And it also has these two front um, <clears throat> breathable pouches there, just in the front. So this is a great bag and I hope, um, I got it actually just before the trip. Um, it was in the sale, so I got it for a great price. And hopefully it'll be with me for a while, this one might be other. So I'm gonna show you what's inside here. Um, in this top compartment is where I keep passports, so I normally keep wills too because it's better <laughs> if I have both of them. Um, these change and things like that is in here. Um, I have my dark callers. These are very important things to be travelling with. So we've got the fat duck and the really loud one. Um, it's kind of fun if you're hiking or camping. Um, I keep a few pens in that top compartment. If I find these stones on the floor, then I really like these ones are from Bolivia, from Soul Plains. Um, then I sometimes put them in here. Um, my MP3 player goes in the top section. This is my sunglasses case, and so my sunglasses go in here. And I have another little pouch that I just keep bits and bobs, like lip balm, some sketching pencils, 
lighter, scarra, I don't know, random stuff in it, hair clip, tampons. <laughs> this all goes in the top, things I can get to easily on the go. And yeah, that's it for the top bit. Um, in the side, I, I have a water bottle, this is my third one I've gone through already on the trip, so I haven't found a good water bottle. <laughs> And I have these that are very random things that I got in uh, Peru and they flap them into their hair. So they would have their hair, long hair here, this would be flattered into a big flap and they'd hang at the bottom. I thought they were cool. Um, and just to keep them protected and not too squashed, I put these ones in the other side now. Um, but if we were going for day, day hike or something, I could even take them out and use this bag for my day hiking bag. That's why it's also good to have a smaller bag or for doing a little weekend trip when we can leave all our stuff in the hostel, the hotel, and then just pack some small bits and bobs in here. So right in the bottom of the bag, I keep my traveling art kit. I'm not gonna open this up now because I've done a video about what's in here already, which I'll link below. So these go right in the bottom. this and then next to them I have my other packing cube and here is all my spices for cooking mostly like for camping and things like that um, in this tin I've made tiny little sachets of spice using um, plastic straws so it's like curry powder in here now this is really useful we're always using this when we're cooking like we're staying somewhere in the kitchen I've got some great Salt at the moment from Bolivia from the salt plains and yeah some cup of soups and then sachets of ketchup and things like that <laughs> plastic spoons yeah bits and bobs it obviously changes as we as we move around um, but anytime we have a place in the kitchen we tend to try and cook or for camping obviously this is very useful to make camping food taste like something you want to eat so this will go in this bag here and it's fits really nicely just down the side. Then I have another waterproof, uh, it might sound crazy, I haven't seen waterproofs on a trip, but this one's a really lightweight one and not so warm and because we're in a tropical climate, sometimes it'll just start raining and raining but it's really warm and the other coat is way too warm so it's really good to have this. Plus it goes down really small. <coughs> so let's get here in the front. Along with my waterproof cover for my bag. Um, I mainly have this for hiking purposes just to give it a bit more um, protection. And then my umbrella goes in the bottom. It used to go on the outside but then I got the pom-poms <laughs> so now it goes inside. Along with two more bags. This one's a shopping bag. <coughs> Sorry, this one's a shopping bag that just folds up really small, and this one is my uh, kind of I use it as a handbag sometimes from my exhibition last year, my Viva La Volva, which gets a lot of attention here. Yeah. So it's fun to wear that around, it's a bit dirty right now. And so these just roll up really small, and they go right down here at the bottom, along with my sprocket which is my awesome um, printer that I have with me. That is really the best thing I ever invented. Well, okay, maybe the main dramatic, but it's really cool journaling and printing out pictures on the game. So that goes down here. And so I just kind of squeeze that all in. Along with the hat, this is a hat that I bought in Bolivia. So this is kind of extra stuff and stuff I'm used to having it on me. In case you're on a bus and it gets really cold. <coughs> um, I've got to say, actually, this bag has a back pocket. I don't know if you can see it, but it's a back slide pocket, it goes all the way down. I think it's designed for a laptop. So I keep two plastic wallets in now of um, more inserts for my Midori and completed inserts. So go okay, here. Yeah, originally, I was going to send them home, but the post uh, system here. It's been a bit um, unreliable, so I haven't sent it home because I would be really upset to lose them in the post. <laughs> also in the back is my Kindle, very useful for travelling. <coughs> <coughs> and 
in this front top pocket. Here's my Midori passport. Um, I keep it here. I also made a video of how I'm using this on the trip, which I will link below so you can see inside. In this bottom one, there's kind of bits and bobs, random stuff. So, um, uh, eye mask, earplugs, a random plastic uh, slipper pouch, which I keep normally keep black tea bags in. They're really hard to find tea here, and it's really important for me to have tea on the go. Some Lucasade MG tabs, my uh, camp light headlamp. A shell that looks like shark teeth that I found on the beach recently. A badge. And of course, post it notes. So I'll put some there nicely. Yeah. Random stuff. But... And then I've got this scarf which um, has a secret pouch. And in the secret pouch, I keep um, some other bank cards and other bits and bobs um, which uh, I can wear like traveler's checks on a coach or if I'm in a place where I feel very unsafe, I can put my passport in here and wear it. So if I do get mugs, so I won't normally take the scarf. And um, when you put it on, I'll show you. Um, I will put a link to where I bought this from at the bottom. I have a special name which I forget now. But you can see it does hide very well in your clothes. <laughs> So that goes in there. I kind of just use it as a cat, as a place to keep things at the moment. So that goes in there, and then I have my Latin American book. <coughs> now I've done the bottom back, so I can up a little bit so I can do it more this way now. So then I also have. <coughs> Actually, so only my scarf, I normally put these, which are presents I've brought along the way so far for people back home, which will hopefully survive, we will see. And then goes my camera. I just in there. And I also have a candle. Comes in useful sometimes if you're in a hostel and you have a big light or for camping. It's really nice to have soft lighting. Then I have always valuable nuts and seeds and dried fruit with me, really good to have on the go. Snacking, healthy snacking. Back to 60 right now because I've been burnt a lot in the Caribbean, so I'm up to back to 60. <laughs> and then of course, my main Midori journal goes in the top pride of place. I always grab it wherever I am. And there's a little bit of room in there, sometimes I have my scarf in there or a cardigan if I'm on a cold bus ride. <clears throat> that goes together nicely. Put that in there. So that's my front bag all together. And I will show you how I wear them. So the main bag will go on my back. Like this. And then I wear this one. Like this. And it's done. That is my whole world in two backpacks. And yeah, the last six months has been doing really great, so I think this is the perfect setup for me. I uh, hope you found this video useful if you're planning your trip around South America. And if you've got any questions, just uh, shoot me a message or any ideas of how to carry even more stuff in a smaller bag. I'd love to know how you did it. Um, please like and subscribe to my channel. And yeah, thanks for watching.